Hey everybody! Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making, we're doing a copycat recipe. And this is the Alice Springs Chicken. It's a, it's an Outback, the Outback restaurant copycat. This is a honey mustard smothered chicken and I wanted to try it because I love Outback, okay? Before I get started, just in case you hear some chatter in the background, my uh, children are here, my young adult kids are here, and they're out on the patio. I'm sure they are waiting on mama to get finished with this chicken, okay? So if you hear something, it's them. All right. The recipe calls for four chicken breasts, but I'm going to use thighs. I have thoroughly rinsed and cleaned my, my meat. We wash our meat over here, rinse it. Thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned, ready to go. I'll be using, I have six slices of bacon that I've already cooked. I forgot my my cheese that I've already shredded. The recipe calls for, how many cups is this? Two cups of Monterey Jack cheese. I've already shredded my cheese. If by chance you don't want to use Monterey Jack, you don't have to. You can use something else. As a matter of fact, I think I'm using, is it Colby? I think I'm using, I'm using Colby Jack, okay? So if you want to use something different, that's fine as well. And then for the honey mustard sauce, we're going to use one third cup of mayo. Let me go on it and get this together. Okay, one third cup of mayo. This is for the, the honey mustard sauce. looking for my dish cloth. Say hey babe, that's doing hey. number one. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Okay, I'm getting the mayo off my counter. All right. One third cup of mayo. You good babe? One third cup of mayo and I'm using the dupes. You can use whatever mayonnaise you want to use. One tablespoon of honey. I'm using the raw honey. I'm just gonna squeeze me some in here. One tablespoon is what it calls for. Let's see. Okay. One tablespoon. Or a little more. One tablespoon of honey. And then two teaspoons it it says the stone ground mustard honey but I'm going to use some of this yellow mustard that I had in my refrigerator I don't like buying let's see two teaspoons I don't like buying ingredients and I'm just using it for one recipe so we just use the yellow mustard and then we'll just stir this up because I hear my babies outside <laughs> because we're gonna spread this over the chicken okie dokie okay I put a little we're gonna use a 9 by 13 casserole dish I spread a little butter in the bottom of it. Now I'm going to preheat my hand. My pan is preheating. We're going to add just a little dab of butter to that because what we want to do is brown this chicken on both sides. We're just going to brown it because it's going to finish baking in the oven. We will season our chicken with some seasoned salt. I'm going to use seasoned salt, some paprika, and some pepper. Pepper. 
some black pepper. Pepper. Okay, so that's what we're gonna season the chicken with. We're gonna brown it and then get it in the oven. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And it's only gonna bake maybe about maybe about 30 minutes or so. Is that everything? Okay, I think that's it. I can't remember. Did I tell y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty? If by chance I did, then it bears repeating. Y'all, I've washed my hands thoroughly. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. And if I've already said it in this video, I guess I just needed to repeat myself because I certainly don't remember. All right. Let's get this chicken seasoned up. Okay, we're going to start with the seasoning salt. And we have some paprika. Then our coarse ground black pepper. chicken over and do the same thing on the other side. And into the pan we go. Easy peasy. Like I said, we're just going to brown it. Turn it up to about seven and a half. Seven and a half. You want to sear it Brown it on both sides. Ooh. And then we're put it in the oven. These are some large thighs. Now we're just going to add the honey mustard topping to the chicken. And then we're going to be ready to get this in the oven. Now it says to go in and add the cheese and the bacon, but I think it's too soon. This is going to be in the oven almost half an hour. My bacon is already done, so I'm going to wait to add the bacon and the cheese. I even want to cover it for a few minutes. First, I just put some holes in my foil. But I want to cover it maybe at least about the first 20 minutes or so. And then once I uncover it, then I'll add the bacon and the cheese. But I think if um I think if I add the the bacon and right now it's just gonna be too overcooked because the bacon is already done okay so we're gonna set our timer first I'll set it for about 20 minutes and then I will check it maybe I'll do it 25 minutes then I'll uncover it add the bacon and the cheese and then put it back in okay
said go faster. Go faster? Yes. Yeah. Alright you guys, so I baked them about 25 minutes. Pull them out to add the bacon and the cheese. Oh. Oh. That did look delicious. So I'm just going to transfer it to this platter. What'd you say, baby? I want to know what trap. Be careful, okay? Say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I just think it looked better here on the platter rather than swimming in all of the the juice that was created while it was cooking I just thought it looked better presentation looked better to remove it from the casserole dish <laughs> uh, I thought I was where's your speed? you did what? where's your speed? I'm your speed did you call papa? oh y'all it looks so good mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Y'all, yeah, we have to hurry up and close this video because these children are ready to eat. Oh, let me tell you something. They Listen, like, they ready. Like, Mom, I said we waiting on Dad. Okay. You got your fork ready? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what we got. That look good. Ooh, we. I'm going to put you What's a little that? bit. It's just some little pieces of. Look at let me get piece. you. Wait, but there's not really a lot of cheese and stuff on that part, babe. That's I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this as a test sample. I know, babe. Wait a minute. Do you, you don't, you want it on a platter? No. Give me my caveman style. Okay, here. So I can get our thumbnail. We can hurry up and close yeah, this video. Me. So, them babies can eat. Hold on, wait a minute. What? There's a lot more babies than I see me. Lee, so come on now. I love them, but wait, I, I love them. It's, it's good. It ain't good. Ooh, y'all. It's right here. It ain't normally like this, people. Piece of meat. But let me get mine to get mine. Let me get mine out the way. Y'all. That is so good. Isn't it good? Ooh, okay. We don't have time. Long talk, y'all, because the kids ready to eat. Young adults. Come the little bitty baby dudes. Come on, adults. Adults. I said the young adults. <laughs> but y'all, that is absolutely delicious. Mm. That's some good eating right there. Brian, how are you going to do this, baby? Look, y'all. What they going to let you see the inside of this one on the corner where we took his. So you can see that it's it tender, is too. done. Juicy. It is tender. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh, Open your mouth. You want some? Oh, it's the, ooh, it's so good. Okay. Hey, you got the pots. Oh, and y'all, it's actually Sunday. So they're ready. They're waiting and ready to eat dinner. We have some fresh collard greens, some rice, oh, well, some, like macaroni, adults, baby. They go by. some macaroni and cheese. Why is you all in front of the camera? I'm just trying to get my stuff out the way. Yeah. <laughs> so we have the chicken, the macaroni cheese. cube steak and gravy, what the that? onions, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, and some rolls. So they are ready to eat okay all right you guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up this is absolutely delicious it's, it's delicious okay if you enjoy, enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up if you're, not, the nosy. if you're not subscribed please consider doing so turning on that notification bell that way you'll be notified whenever we're over here doing whatever it is we are doing that's your rice baby no, no, thank you all so much for watching we already look forward to you joining us again man i'm happy and then the pink one in there jackson call you yes baby Come yeah, on. Here you go. Mama said I should bite her. <laughs> you what? Bite her. Thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. bye. Jackson, you gonna say bye? Uh-huh. Are you coming to say bye? Here the little pitter patter. Which way you go? Oh, you must you must be coming down the steps. Okay, he wants to say bye. Is he coming this way? And he's coming. Be careful.
He likes going up under the trap out. Wait a minute, I'm not gonna pick you up oh, so they can see you. <laughs> you too short for that. You gotta get bigger. Tell everybody bye. Say bye. Bye, yes, the nosy. <laughs> bye, y'all. <laughs>